Christina. Parker, what are you doing here? I didn't have a choice. I, I, I had to see you. Okay, you need to leave. Just, just go away and I don't come back. It's not that simple any longer. Why is it that you're the one who's married, yet you keep showing up at my door? Where's your wife? Something curious happened at Wesleyan. A gentleman was poking around asking questions around campus. I don't know the particulars, but he was attempting to get the names of all of your professors from last semester. Did he approach you directly? Well, not yet. The registrar's office alerted me and the others, but for all I know, that guy is still working on this, and it makes me nervous, Christina, especially considering the line of work your father's in. My dad was just concerned about me. He sent someone to ask questions, but I put a stop to the investigating. It's over, so you don't have to worry. You shouldn't have come. You still haven't told your parents about your feelings. Or that you continue to pursue me even after I told you that nothing could ever happen between the two of us. They know that I was suspended for coming on to a professor, but you can relax. They don't know that it was you. And that's all that I'm going to say. I don't want to get into long explanations, especially with you of all people. Okay. You're still struggling. Can you please just skip the phony sympathy and just admit that you hate me for playing with your life? Oh, Christina, I never said I hated you. You don't have to. It's the truth, isn't it? I've made it. Well, of course I was angry, Christina. You threatened my career. And more importantly, you threatened my marriage. I never hated you. It was just the opposite, actually. I wanted to reach out to you before your father sent some guy to campus to ask questions. He wanted to reach out to me? I heard about the news that you were held at gunpoint at your mother's wedding. That's horrible. I wanted to hear your voice. I wanted to reassure myself that you were truly OK. You make it sound like you really care. I do. Okay, see? This is what you do. You reach out to me, and you tell me how much I mean to you, and then you turn around and you say that there's nothing between us and that you're never leaving your wife. I'm not leaving my wife. Then why can't you leave me alone? Because I need to know that you're going to be all right. Honestly, I don't know if I ever will be again. Marcy. Christina, if you need... To talk. You should go, please. But if I can help you. You can't. Just leave. Parker, wait. Oh, what I said about never being right again, that's not on you. It's just that I'm so confused. I met you, and now I don't know what I want or, or who I am. You showing up here, acting like you care, it, it just makes things worse. I'm sorry. I wish there was something I could do that would help. But I know I can't. Bye, Christina.